to ste speak up against you scapegoating now, too. You are the perfect you won't even example look at the of what people who smoke marijuana, how they conduct themselves in yeah, a public we're assertive. place. We don't just get Seeing red instead of green, as Canada saw the first day of cannabis legalization in downtown Vancouver, some people were not feeling the historic high. We didn't ask for a monopoly. Uh, we didn't ask for, we want no prison for pot, free weed for medical needs, and equal rights to grow it, smoke it, and sell it. This is a free market country, and it should stay a free market. This is uh, way too far, um, way too fast as a law. It's going to allow these edibles and concentrates, and it's not a good thing. Robson Square played host to pro and anti-weed demonstrators. On the one side, parents and activists opposed to marijuana gave a speech, while on the other side were pro-pot protesters angry at how the government has handled decriminalization. It's certainly upsetting. I think anything that is legal has the perception of being safe and okay. So that part of it certainly as a mother does concern me. My most important concern though is protecting her from the secondhand smoke of it. I don't think this is going to lead to anything good in Canada. We need to go a lot slower and I think the government should be called on this that if we see use go up, if we see drugged driving go up, if we see psychosis and schizophrenia go up, go up in five years, the government has a responsibility to reverse this policy. I'd like to see decriminalization of cannabis, which means no, uh, no, no punishments for cannabis, no prison for plants, no p putting people in jail for growing in their gardens or whatever. If it's legal, it should be not criminal anymore. You are a scapegoater and a demonizer. Why don't you stop? Rethink but it wasn't on the steps that protesters were getting heated. It was down in the crowds. Uh, happy he birthday. has a platform and he should use it responsibly. Well, if he's going to say no one want to kill boys. You want to hear their truth? Yes, I do. Okay, watch you listen then. And quit and exactly. I've been a professional drug researcher for years. This is entirely incorrect. After some serious heckling from the crowd, the anti-marijuana group has dissipated behind me and broken up into small groups where people are still debating. No matter which way you look at it, marijuana legalization is still a very hot topic here in Vancouver. In fact, the only people who seem relaxed and enjoying themselves are the guys over here in the tent smoking up. Officials in government and law enforcement have admitted there's a lot they'll have to figure out as they go along. But in the meantime, folks on both sides of the square should take a moment, catch their breath and enjoy today's marijuana milestone. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.